what's going on YouTube welcome back to the vlog sell with Manuel vlog I'm excited today um, I got some deals working and real estate is, is picking up it's it's a lot of fun I love selling selling homes it's it's my favorite thing but today I'm actually headed to Porsche of San Diego um, I'm gonna take my girl's car to service she hates going to service and I love going to car dealerships so it's kind of like a match made in heaven um, and I'm going to Porsche of San Diego, which uh, my brother works there. So hopefully we can drive a cool car today, maybe like a 911 or a GT3. I don't know. Um, we'll see. We'll see on that. But um, I used to, if you saw my first six months in real estate vlog, uh, you know that I used to work at Porsche. I've been, I've been, honestly, I've been in sales my whole life since I was like 16 years old. I started uh, selling furniture at Ikea. That was my first job. I sold furniture at Ikea, believe it or not. And then from there, I sold, um, from there, where did I go? From there, I went to Nordstrom's. I was selling women's shoes. And then from there, I went to uh, selling bicycles. I worked at a bike shop. And then from there, I, I worked at Apple. Um, I sold computers there at Apple. And then sold advertisement for the Union Tribune here in San Diego. And then ultimately, I mean, uh, from there, I worked Porsche and all these car dealerships and then uh, ultimately now selling homes which I love but anyways uh, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me today uh, I'll show you the whole dealership and I'll introduce you guys to my brother and he works there like I said he sells cars so if you're looking to buy a Porsche and you're in San Diego ask for Carlos um, but anyways okay let's uh, let's head on over there and see what cars he has ready for us to drive Good, good, good. What's my brother out here? Yo, what's up, bro? What's up, dude? What is that? What's going on? What's up, brother? <laughs> what is that? Yeah. What do you mean, what is that? It's a camera. Let me see. Bro, this is sick. Give it a break, dog. <laughs> it's my camera. Hey, what car are we taking Very out today? Huh? What car are we taking today? Uh, what do you want? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go test drive. Let's do it. Let's go. Carretti? Yep, Carretti. So what's different about this 911? Uh, it's lightweight, fast, fun. All the fun components of a GT3 you get in a regular 911 Carrera. Damn. Lightweight, no seats? This one does have seats. This one does have seats. You have the option to not have seats, right? You have the option to not have seats. You have lightweight roof, lightweight mirrors, uh, plexiglass on the black, no real glass. Sound deadening is gone, so more noise in here. More noise in here? More noise. Woo! Sport Chrono is standard, Sport Exhaust is standard, PASM is, is uh, standard. What's PASM? Uh, it'll adjust your suspension while you're cornering to corner as flat as possible, as fast as possible. And PASM stands for? Porsche? Porsche Active Suspension, suspension. Management. Yes, sir. Damn, I'm good. You didn't know what it means. Of course I did. I worked here for fucking more than you have. <laughs> Are you gonna get one? I wish. Do you like working here more than uh Yeah absolutely. No? Yeah, it's insane, bro. Where'd you used to work? Cadillac. Cadillac. And before that? Jeep. Jeep? Before that? That's it. Best buy. Oh, best buy. <laughs> <Full> loop. <laughs> Feels good to be back in the 911. It's been probably like it hasn't even been that long. Yeah, a year? More than a year and a half. Oh yeah, a year and a half. It's been a year and a half since I last sat in a 911. So that's crazy. I think I'm sold. I think I'm gonna get one. By the way, my open house signs do fit back there. If I do like the rear seat deletion, they'll fit back there. Oh, I 
hated this uh the bridge yeah it has a, a bump in the this middle this is not the bridge oh That's, this is not the bridge no it's the other bridge oh i know what you're talking about though. yeah Oh, you go through here yeah. because of the of the turns. Cloverleaf. Cloverleaf, yeah. Feel those G forces. Damn. G-forces! Woo! Damn, the slow poke! I know. So the crazy thing about these cars is that as a passenger, you feel like... You feel like this thing is like gonna fucking lose control. But as a driver, like, you can feel everything through your butt. Like, honestly, you can feel when the car's slipping, when it's not... Which, like, let's say on a BMW M3, like, before you know it, you're in a ditch and you're like, how the fuck did I end here? Like, how how did I end up here? With a, with a 911, you can read it so well that you'll know when it's slipping, you'll know how far you can push it, and it just gives you that much confidence. Like, right there, you'll see it when it's recording because of the red dot. Seek. Seek. Damn, it's been a long time since I drink one of these bad boys. Oh, you know the, you know the road. Yeah. We can't take that one. No. Huh? Um. You Let's can see. go left, and then we'll take Kearney Villa back. You're, I know you're in dynamic, eh? Stay right here, 15 south. Switch, switch it over. Now sport exhaust is oh, on. Oh, now it is. Uh, active rev matching downshift. Yeah. Fucking love this shit. Oh, so now it rev matches it. Yep. Whenever you downshift, watch downshift. Oh. <laughs> driving a stick ship, 911, like it's nuts. Just, oh, oh, damn. here just because um, there's always cops here I remember there's always cops here I think I don't think I've ever driven a car this fun honestly the stick shift does it for me um, my brother's asking me if a Lambo whenever I when I worked at Lambo if it was um, if it was nicer to drive I think yeah the Lambo is fun but I think the Lambo um, it's more of a tension grabbing than the then the, actually the, the, the quality or the, I guess, the, the experience you get of driving these cars. Lambo, yeah, everyone will turn their heads. It's a showstopper. You can have the suicide doors or whatever they're called, the Batman doors. But, um, but something like this, man, this is truly a driver's car. I love it. I love it. I, I, I haven't had this much fun driving a car since I can remember. But, um, but it's fun, man. If you're looking to get a 911, who should they call? Right here. <laughs> how, how can they reach you if they're in San Diego and they want to buy uh, Call me, my direct line is 619-843-5274. Any Porsche, I'm your guy. There you go. See, content, baby, content. I already told him, I've been telling him, dude, start an Instagram account where you reach out to people and kind of 
put out cool uh, cool pictures of cars and small little tidbits and videos like this where you're explaining the car in a more comprehensive way um, people look people the first place they go to whenever buying any product is they go to video first they want to see they want to see someone having it like putting it in their hand whether it's a product a service let everyone know what you do where am I going Would I drive it in yellow? Uh, not as a daily driver. I probably wouldn't drive it a car in, uh, in yellow as a daily driver. If it was my weekend car, then yeah. <sighs> this thing's so nice. How much does this uh, retail for? Uh, this one will retail for one fifteen. One fifteen. Yeah, depending on what kind of options you want on it. This is a used one, right? This is a pre-owned one. 109 for a pre-owned. Still here at Porsche service waiting for uh, for the car to be done. I actually had a loaner and was gonna go back to the office, but I figured why not work from here. Um, by the time I get back to downtown to the office, I figured they probably would call me, which is usually what happens. And um, so I figured I stick around here and say hi to all the people I used to work with, which is so fun seeing them and, and uh, just talking to them and kind of seeing them from like, I guess the other side, if you want to call it that. Which I actually, while I was here, I got a new listing. I haven't signed the agreement yet, but we have the green light, and I just got the green light from the owner that he does want to, um, he wants to move forward with the listing and, and have me as his listing agent. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I've seen this property before. It's so nice. I'm in East Lake, right next to the Otay Ranch Mall. Brand new construction, well, kind of brand new construction. I guess you can call it brand new construction because it was built in 2018 and he's only been there for a year. And this place is like super clean. Like once you see it, obviously I'm gonna record a video on it and do a whole thing on it. But once you see it, it's super nice. Um, it is, it's not even staged, but it seems like it's staged because this furniture is really nice and super clean. Uh, three bedroom, three and a half bath. Uh, we're gonna come in at. Uh, we're gonna put it on a on a range at a uh, 549 to 579. So you can kind of get an idea of what uh, that price range um, gets you here in San Diego, or at least Chula Vista part of San Diego. Which it's it's super nice. It's super up up and coming, and uh, you get a lot of bang for your buck here in uh, in Chula Vista. But anyway, that's that's coming out in. Uh, Probably in the next two weeks, we have to obviously take pictures and do the video and promote the uh, the coming soon and promote open houses and promote the you know just listed. There's a lot of things that go into it. Like if you've seen the other uh, video I did about the uh, home selling process, you'll see like there's steps to everything that you uh, they need to go over. So, um, anyways, I'm excited about that one. Um, can't wait. Um, but in the meantime, I'm still here working um, from my phone because I left my computer back at the office which is it's cool that you can now work you can do so much from the phone now so uh anyways i'll be here i'm gonna show you some cars while i'm here why not right so let's go check them out